All right, we're continuing our Toronto Blue Jays franchise. Game one of the American League Championship Series, and we are in Chicago to take on the uh, White Sox, and that's because they won six more games than we did. Now, you can see here, Giolito's going for the White Sox in game one. We have Yusei Kikuchi going for us. Now, if I was playing this franchise, like, on my own time or whatever, then I probably would make adjustments to the rotation, but uh, I'm not, I'm just going to leave it as it is for right now. So, Kikuchi, you're going to pitch game one of this. So, let's do it. Game one at Guaranteed Rate Field. Looks like uh, Giolito didn't exactly have a good uh, game in uh, his one start in the uh, ALDS. He went with no decision in that one. So here we go, game one on the road in Chicago to take on the White Sox. Welcome in everybody, glad you're with us. We've got the American League Championship Series just about ready to roll. And today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. Chris, what are you looking for from him? We beat the Mariners in four in the American League Division Series. Most of the time he goes out there, guy knows how to pitch, he's got good stuff. Sometimes it can be even plus stuff. First time through the order, though, I think that's going to tell us a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Out towards left center. Left center, and that's going to be extra bases for Taylor. <clears throat> and that's going to be a leadoff double. Good two strike hitting right there, Bo. The bit of and Bo Bichette will come up. That was nicely done to beat the odds. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat pad to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. And that's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. There's a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering upstairs. Taylor stands at second with no outs. Yeah, there's ball four. And ball four. Good eye. So we draw a walk. And up steps Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Two on, nobody out. That one's in there on one. On one down. And that one... Wrapped foul. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. And a pitch. And a pitch. <coughs> Swung one that was high. Alright, Tasker Hernandez up. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it. Feed the second, that's one. Oh, and we get nothing out of that. 
All right, we go to the bottom of the first. Started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. All right, bottom of the first. First, Leori Garcia up to the plate. All right, come on, Kikuchi. In for a strike, and that is strike one. Trying to bunt his way on to start off. Nice play by Chapman. So up next for Chicago, Adam Hazley. First offering, and it just misses. And there's a, and there's a base hit on the left. All right, one out single. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. The pitch. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. To first. There's one on the first double play, and we go to the second. End of one. Welcome back. And now here is Austin Meadows. Flips the corner. That's strike one. Now off to a good start. He's got to get the baseball, work quickly, and move the ball around. And that time, perfect pitch at the knees on the outside corner. Ah, foul. And we got two runners on, nobody out in the last inning, and got nothing. Any change up just out in front. Okay. Let's go, Meadows. Stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in his own for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing a pop up. Popped up, foul territory, and Mercedes oh, has it. No, he doesn't. <clears throat> okay. It's a new life then for Meadows. Oh. Miss slider right there. Don't and of course they swing at a really bad one. And we still get out anyway. Now the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rolled over to third. Moncada tossed to first. Two up, two down to the top of the second. Now it's Matt Chapman. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Chapman gets a piece there. Second inning here, no score. Next one misses, and a count one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. It's going to make that pitcher really have to respect his hitter, even though he's behind in the count. One and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. A wind of the pitch. Swing in a bit. Ah. Got him. All right, bottom of the second, second, second inning. Down to the bottom of the We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back at guaranteed rate field. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH. Right. Boy, a minute. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. And a count even one and one. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> Yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty's his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. All right, swing and a miss. Well, the cutter down and in right there, and typically if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement, but still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. 
Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two away. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to bounce something off and extend that at bat. All right. Pollock up. In the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. This to third. And we go to the, the third inning. Throw to first. That ends the frame. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now the catcher comes up to him. Danny Jansen. First pitch just misses. And a perfect, perfect in the center. Sit down into center field. All right, Jansen's aboard. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The second Jansen's aboard with a single. And that's in there for strike one. Good eye right there. Runner at first with no outs here. On the ground right. Base it. And it's through for a hit. All right. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. It just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and right. get you not. Runner in scoring position. Hey, this is a perfect bunting situation here for Taylor. Squares the bunt, but that rolls foul. Mm. And he lays one down the left side. All right. Has to barehand it. And that's an out. And we the move the runners runs. over on that bunt. Good job. Second and third, one out. Bobachet gets a chance to hit. So that sets us up to get at least one run out of this. In there for strike one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That one ripped left field. Way back there. And... Sure enough, that is going to be one run. It's a sacrifice fly. Oh, wait a minute. The tag gets him, and it's a double play. Biggio. Biggio, why did you try to score on that? Uh, well, we got one run, but... Oh, my God. Biggio, that was bad base running. I didn't even send him past third. Like, what happened there? Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Oh, that was bad base running by Biggio. So I mean, just, we're obviously going to get the runner from third home, but I think in Biggio's mind, he probably thought that it was a home run, but it wasn't. That's just the best feeling in the world. Which was the problem. perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. So Biggio ran us out of the inning. This is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Strike two. Biggio, you idiot. the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. It's going to have to make an adjustment. The punch out there, and there's one down. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Yohan Moncada. A switch hitter batting right. That one's in there on one. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. And there's two down. And next to him for the Sox. Yep. Maybe you should be lucky to the video game, because if this was real life, in there, he would have been on the bench for the rest of this game after 
that terrible base running. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Vaughn off the first with two away. On the ground to third. They get the force, and that ends the inning. All right, to the fourth we go. We're up one to nothing. Out of the fourth, and now Giolito back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Oh, there's a drive. Deep left, but it's going to be foul. He's ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it, hit it hard at the distance, but just too much hook to it. So, I might want to make a little bit of an adjustment, let it travel. A and we fly out. Keep that thing fair. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Hernandez watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Right-hander kicks deals. There's a drive to the left. It's, if it stays fair, it's gone. It is foul. So close. Uh, come on. Now, is that one going to stay fair? Yes, it's off the pole home run, Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez hits one out, and they add to the lead. It's 2 0. After a couple of those that just went foul, Teo gets one. Uh, one finally stays fair and hits the pole, and it's 2 to nothing. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Now it's Austin Meadows. One down, base is empty. Swings through that. Filthy change up right there. Just pulled the string. Next pitch misses. Now one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. That one miss. In the air right field. Racing makes the catch. And there are two down. Lourdes Goriel Jr. digs in now. And that's in there for strike one. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets out. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Next one just misses. And that is ball one. In the center. And that is going to drop. Pulls up on it. That's a hit. Two out single for Guriel. It is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that. They have a high contact rate, and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. So that's going to be caught, and we will head to the bottom of the fourth. Toronto extends the lead on the solo shot, and it's two zip. Bottom of the inning, and here is Adam Hazley. The pitch. 
And the first offering is fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's a ball. The next offering misses. Two and one. And now the lefty. And it's fouled away. Kicks Indians. Lifted in the air, right center field. And that to be caught. Racing over to make the catch. <clears throat> And up next for Chicago, Tim Anderson. He's all for one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. And a one one. That's a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And the pitch. Up the middle. Biggio throws the first in time. And they take care of Anderson for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Jimenez looks at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. Uh, the ground, and ground ball to the shot. Over the first, the first and the inning is over. The first. And they take care of him. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shami with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Danny Jansen. That's in there. And that's strike one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. This guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Fly ball to right. Power gliding in towards the infield. And he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. Kevin Biggio, the next to hit. And he's already singled in this game. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. Fought off foul. Of the pitch. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair. And, and off the left, the right field foul pole home run. Fire up the three nothing. It's three nothing. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front of a breaking ball like that, it's such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving. Well, we've had one hit the foul pole on both sides now. And now, Samad Taylor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next one off the plate inside. All right, White Sox have some activity going in their bullpen. Ronaldo Lopez preparing to come on if needed. Graveman warming up as well. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Bobachet getting ready to hit. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Ball makes the catch, and that'll do it. Toronto picks up one on this homer. It's now 3 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Jose Abreu up to hit. Hernandez on the move, stanks it on the run, and there's one away. A.J. Pollock at the dish. Foul ball there. The 0-1, 
That one in there across the letters. That's down and in. Next offering down in the dirt. Yeah, foul ball. The pitch stays alive. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Way inside gets out of the way. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. And that's ball four. And Pollock walks. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Vaughn takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Next one misses. It's two and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two, two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Pollock runs. Pollock trying to steal. He's out. And that ends the inning. Ronaldo Lopez takes over on the mound. Yeah, so they have no way of knowing. So I don't know how many pitches Julio threw. It was probably around 70 or something. But in any case, Giolito is out of the game after five innings. We're up 3 nothing. To short, not down, and Guerrero's gonna reach. No throw, and he reaches safely. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Hater deals to short could be two. One at second. And that's a double play. So first, it's a double play. Austin Meadows now. Hit well. And Meadows clobbers this. That's gone. Four nothing. Austin Meadows powers one out of here, and they add on. It's 4 nothing. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here's Guriel. First offering, misses the mark. Next pitch is popped up. Squeezes it. All right, bottom of the six. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a four nothing ball game. Welcome back. There well, we go, bottom six. Here's the catcher, your mean Mercedes. And the first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That clips the corner. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here is Moncada. That one's in there on one. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Two Gets away. Right there to make the grab. And there are two outs. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. 
And there was a hit for Garcia with two out. Adam Hazley gets a chance to hit. One for two. In there, and it's 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. In the dirt. And to the shot on the first inning over. All right, we go to the seventh. Blue Jays up four to nothing. The White Sox lead one. They're on the short end. Back at guaranteed rate field. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter now, Matt Chapman. First offering and adjustments. Oh, thank you, Unc. It's clearly in the strike zone, but I'll take the ball. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Sliced hard but foul. Two on now. Now the inside corner for a strike. Chapman gets a piece there. Out to short, Anderson collects. Throw to first in tie to get Chapman. First out, the top of the seven. Almost beat it out, though. Okay. Here's another look with Statcast singing. So the Chapman's 0 for 3. Beat the runner, and it was. Yeah, that play was close. And I think we need to credit that 88 mile per hour throw as the difference maker right there. That's just impressive. And Chapman's going to pop it up. Anderson moving under this one. Drops into the glove, two way down. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and fires. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And he'll two. Back to right. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Down in bottom of the seventh. Now here is Tim Anderson. And he needs. And downstairs. Anderson. And there's a strike. Look at that right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. That one misses. And the count's even at two. This one in the air right field. Hernandez. And Hernandez gets over there one down. For the out. And there's one down. Here's a boy in a minute. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering misses. A ball, one strike. A one, two. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. A brave in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And off the wall. That's a two out a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. 
AJ Pollock at the dish. And Pollock cranks that one. That's a home run. That one felt good. AJ Pollock, a two run homer with two out. It's four to two. It's four two. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all, all right, sudden, all right I think it's time to get the bullpen warming up. So up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And now two and nothing. And here it comes. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is foul back. 2-2 two -two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's All right, inning over. So it may be too little, too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. It's now 4-2. New arm out of the bullpen, Kendall Green. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Back here on the south side, and now the center fielder, Samad Taylor. The pitch. Going to one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And the 1 Check swing, but it went too far. No balls, two strikes. Graveman, a guy that features an absolute power slider, throws that pitch a lot, he throws it hard, and gets a ton of swings and misses. Next one off the plate inside, and a count one and two. Line drive. Base it. Base it. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into Okay, motion. again, that was a strike, but thank you. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. So and the has walks and a sacrifice pass. fly. He's you 0 for 1 officially, though. You can move it just a little bit further away. Before you know it, you're trying to hit a pitch that's off the plate. Nobody out. Runner at first. Pickoff throw. And he's back in standing. But you want runner on the goal. Pitch out. All right, we're sending him, and he's out. Ah. So you stealing a base is a tough thing to do, and far from a sure oh, thing, well. even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, oh, we're up by two late innings. Right into the plate. Three one. Nah, we could have had two runners on. Oh well. You know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good. Second walk this one. This is just strong in this game. We're not sending Bichette, though. Flatty. Oh, and I should not have sworn at that one. Batting here with one away. The pitch. That's inside. Bichette leads off first with one away. Deep left field and gone. Gladdy with a star scraper. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the deal. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat, and 
A really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. And a pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one carries. And that is caught. Makes the catch up against the wall. Meadows stands in here, leaves that one down. All right, I think Kikuchi is going to be done here. Two outs. And fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. And Meadows cranks another one at 7-2. to two. He sends it out of here. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 7-2. Well, they put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension. And, just and the pitching right change for the White Sox. And when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Jose Ruiz. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. And it's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lord is scurry, yellow the home the run. There's always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And here is Matt Chapman. The old one is outside and it's a ball and a strike. Meanwhile, Joe Kelly getting ready in the Joe White Sox Kelly. bullpen. Hard throwing righty is up and loosening. The one to one. He swings and hits a fly ball. That's going to be a base hit for Chapman. And that keeps the inning going. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out. And it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. You won. That one ripped. Jansen rips this to left. It's off the left fielder's glove. Throw to third, not in time. Jansen's going to be at second. Chapman in the third. Four hits in a row, and they're really and now Vigio to the plate. He could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Vigio at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Yeah, well, that's going to end the inning. But what an inning, though, for the Blue Jays. Four score. Last half of Tim Mesa on the pitch out of the pen here. And a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now, here is your main Mercedes. Tim Lo Castro comes on defensively now as he takes over as the new second baseman. That's in there. It's 0 to 1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. And a swing and a miss. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. 
No, they've had a great plan of attack from the night. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. The pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. I almost hit him. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's out number two. So the batting order turns over. Leore Garcia up to the plate. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0-1. Eddie 01 to third. Chapman over to first in time. All right. And the White Sox. We go to the ninth. Liam Hendricks out of the bullpen. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth of this one. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Samant Taylor. Out to short. Anderson to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Wow. See, what a throw. We got to take another look at it, but this time with the numbers from StatCats. Yeah, bro, that's about as good as it gets in the major leagues, man. You'll see the hardest throwing infielders reach 90 plus, so. He's in the mix with the best infield arms in the game. That was a rocket of a throw right there. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So now we'll pinch hitter, Josh Fuentes. Trying to get something going for him with two away. Next pitch is popped up. Garcia under it. And All right, only four pitches. Out. But you know what? With a six-run lead, I can afford to... Uh, Free swing so remaining a little in the game defensively, Josh Fuentes. He pitched it last half and now takes over at first. All right, let's get Nate Pearson in the game. There's no need to use Romano when uh, there's no need to use uh, Romano as a six run right where it is. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. All right, leadoff single to start the bottom of the ninth. Here's Tim Anderson. Good contact guy, good defender. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. And, and that's the home run. Wait, my big number was trying to call me. Like, really? <sighs> Alright, well it's an 8-4 to four game now. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Eloy Jimenez now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Nobody on, nobody out. Here's the last half of inning number nine. Good fastball there. I think it was a purpose pitch. Just want to make that hitter's feet uncomfortable. And that location will definitely do it. Fuentes tosses the first. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Jose Abreu up to hit. First offering in the dirt. If you're in the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Still only one out here in the inning. So now one and two. He got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Two outs, base is empty. And next to him for the Sox, A.J. Pollock. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. 
All right, dicey start to the bottom of the ninth. Gonna get up a two-run homer, but we win it eight to four. Six home runs, just an incredible offensive display today. Even by today's standards, that is a huge total. And our final here today, eight four. For Chris Singleton and our entire so we take game one of the American League Sean Championship Johnson. Series. We'll see you soon. All right, now here was the catch there by Vaughn that robbed Bichette of a home run. And for whatever reason, Biggio fought and left the park. This is why you got to pay attention to what... It's happening at all times. First for the Victoria Blue Jays, eight runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left seven on base. For the White Sox, four runs. So Hendricks was the only one we didn't get anything off of. All right. So that's going to end this episode. We will have, next time around, we will have an elimination game here. So we'll see what happens in that one. So long.